I want to talk to you a little bit about the bat safe membrane and why we're using it of course. So first of all what is bat safe membrane? Well it does exactly what it says on the tin, it's safe for bats. Now we have over 18 species of bats in the UK and they're protected. They're a protected species and that means that when you put in a planning application if you're in an area where bats are known to be, which is pretty much anywhere in the country I, I believe, I'm led to believe, then you need to make sure that you, um, if there is evidence of bats, you need to make sure that you take care in preserving their habitats. Or in this particular area, part of the planning condition was to have an ecology report, and that included things like the bats. And bats were, um, so they come out and they basically watch at certain times of the year, and then they evaluate how many sort of species are around and where they're roosting. And so with this, new garage block that we're building it was established that there are a lot of bats around here and we need to make sure that we can provide them with um, a suitable environment should they get into the fabric of the building okay and they're um, devious little creatures they'll get in anywhere so technically we shouldn't allow anything to get behind the cladding or into the roof but oak cladding moves it's only got to move a little bit enough for a bat to make a roost and it will get behind now with all the construction, once you've put your sheathing up, then we need to put some sort of breather membrane over the top. Now, a normal breather membrane will, when the bats get into it, they can get sort of tangled up in it because it's just not man enough for the little claws. And so this is a bit of a layman's term. There's going to be a link in the description to TLX. TLX Insulation is the company who've gone to a lot of trouble to make this. This is what it looks like. Okay, you can see that it's got like a really fine uh, weave, like a mesh over the top. You don't need to overfix it. It's fairly straightforward. It's really tough material as well. So it's, 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 it's good. It's, um, it does a lot of things, okay? It will be a temporary weather protection, but there's a certain amount of time that this wants to be exposed to UV. It's around about 168 hours. And that's not dissimilar to a lot of other membranes on the market. Always check that when you're putting a membrane on. If you're gonna strip a roof, cover it in membrane, get it in the dry as we say, then you've gotta make sure that if the sunlight's on it for a long period of time, it's not gonna degrade, okay? So I've worked out here, we've got around about three weeks because it's uh, short days at the moment. It's been very dull and gray. So we've got a fair amount of time before we need to get our cladding on. So this is what it looks like. We've got it all around here now. The next lot we'll put on is when I put the gables in. So we'll get the trusses on this roof and we'll put the gables in and then we'll put the bat safe on those gables as well. So yeah, so make sure you look out for this, okay? If you're a building contractor or if you're a homeowner and you've had to go down this route with a sort of a report, it's part of your planning condition, you've got to use it. So as I said, there'll be a link in the description. Go and check it out. So we've got quite a lot of the bat safe membrane on. So I've got these two sections of stub work behind me which I'm going to put some windows in when I get back here that'll be my next job making up the openings putting the OSB on and then obviously bat safing them around and forming the heads above the doorways as well so yeah it's looking pretty good um, every time we add something it gives it a bit more protection I'm going to put some DPC around the top just tack that down as well that'll stop any sort of rain running behind it and going into the edge of that OSB OSB and timber will take the rain but you know if it's constantly getting deluged and it's not drying out then it's not fantastic and as I say I'm going to line the inside so the bat safe yeah it's quite straightforward to use it's quite a tough material we'll be putting a counter batten on a 25 mil counter batten on right through into the studs behind for the cladding and that will obviously hold it all back so we're looking good thanks for joining me I'll catch you all again soon